five and ten this season, won 28 games last year that tied for most in school history, going all the way back to 1987. We take a look at their lineup, very productive hitting the ball, had some problems scoring runs. A 6'2", 218-pound junior. All of his appearances, except for that Tuesday appearance where he only threw seven pitches, right. have been starts. Shockingly, did not get a hit last night. That's, that's why I have him um, highlighting him today. Okay. two now. Did a great job of getting in third. Inside. Good at bat for Clemens. Oh, they're going to send home Clemens. Here comes the throw. The tag. He's safe. He dropped it. Three one horns. Line drive to right field. Casey Clemens did a good job of staying with it. The play once he got home. He doesn't know that Fisher drops this ball, good slide to the outside. So he stayed with the play and got back to the plate, or else he'd have been out. Either way, one, two, three inning. You see Clemens ranging to his right. Parker French getting over. Texas leads by two. Seeing the ball better. It's his 12th walk. We we'll check that now, his 13th walk of the season. Silver hanging out there with Skip Johnson. Ball is waste. The right field. Carter's taking the turn. And Clemens thinking about second as Craig bobbled a little bit. But Casey with a base hit. And Texas looking to attack some more on. Good job by Casey. Two walks earlier in the game. Gets the fastball lower inner half. Drives it by. First baseman McGuire, who was holding Madison Carter on. I think Dad will take that day at the plate. It's a good one. Yeah, I mean, the, the two walks, they scored both those times. In the series, 